What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another Legion Go video. We have the official GPU driver update actually on Christmas from Lenovo, December 25th uh, drop. So I figured I'd take a look at it. Now here's uh, the post over on the gaming community for the Legion Go and they explain how to download and install the driver if you got it from here and, and not on the official site but it's actually up over on the official site ready to go and it's gonna be the same number as the beta driver so if you're like me and you've been running the beta driver for a while this isn't gonna change once you install this it's gonna say the same thing so anyway going over onto my legion go here the quickest way for me is just to go down here into support in my quick access menu it'll auto detect my legion go and then i'll manually select the drivers that i want in this case being the GPU drivers. This is just how I prefer to go grab these once they're officially released and ready to grab. So we'll go over here to drivers and software, and then I'm gonna go to manual update, and then I'm gonna go to GPU processing unit here, and then I'm gonna download the newest driver from December 25th. Now with this, it'll be pretty easy. Once we download it, we can just double click and run it without anything, uh, any special instructions or anything here for install. Now I'm on my capture card and I don't want to install this while I'm uh, running on the cap card. So I'm going to unplug and go get this done. But you just go ahead and run this and install it like you would uh, the driver here and follow the prompts. And once you do that, you'll restart your device. You also are going to want to go to the Microsoft Store and check for updates. If your Radeon software has an update, it's going to pop up for the newest version of driver. Mine's already updated because I was running the beta driver. So there's no change there in number. Uh, but you're going to want to go check that for your adrenaline software. Now I'll go ahead and open this up after my update. And once again, it's going to show the same 23, 20, 24, 03 from 11, 7 here, but this is now the official release with the integer scaling already in there and actually a little bit of performance difference here and there. And jumping back and taking a look at that beginning of the December update video I had where we had BIOS uh, version 26 versus beta BIOS 2A, and we had the official November uh, 6 release from Lenovo versus the beta. I had uh, shown a difference in games there, not by very much. Cyberpunk was very, very similar no matter what. Forza Motorsport, however, was a little bit different when we had first gotten this update, as we did gain about 3 FPS for the most part, which was nice in this game, and things did feel a bit more stable. I just want to show these from that older video, because those of you that maybe weren't running the BIOS, uh, or the beta BIOS, or the beta VGA, more importantly, might uh, see more of a difference than those of us who have been running the beta for a while now already. But there are going to be some differences game to game, which we'll see as we move forward. Let's jump into the official from December 25th today on the VGA running official BIOS V28 versus that older um, beta VGA and beta BIOS V28. Now, of course, I would expect for performance to be pretty similar. However, there could be some differences in here. Uh, they were saying there were going to be some other improvements besides just the integer, integer scaling uh, being uh, included in there. But anyways, jumping into the end of this one, 51 and 51.65 for the most part. I ran this three or four times and it was always about the same thing. So pretty much the same performance uh, for Cyberpunk 2077. Now, Forza Motorsport was a little bit different. It seems like every time I get an update, I get a little bit more performance here and there out of a game. And Motorsport was the same. So we went from 35 to 38 uh, in the other video when we made that jump. And then in this video, we'll make a little bit more of a jump. I ran this benchmark three times and I got 39 FPS as my average every time versus the 38 that I got every time uh, previously. And then 35 on the older uh, V26 and the older November 6th uh, GPU driver. So a difference there. Now, Assassin's Creed Mirage didn't have these pop-in issues anymore, which is nice to see. Uh, it seems like whatever we were having with issues with textures loading in and some of the shadows that I kept having trouble with with the beta VGA uh, aren't showing up for me so far in the official. So hopefully that stays the case for everybody. It at least is for me here. However, when we get to the end, I ran this six times to make sure I kept getting about four FPS less no matter what. And I went through, triple checked everything and that's just what it kept coming up with for whatever reason. So definitely something up with Mirage here with that performance. However, if I close Legion space, I gain six FPS back with this update. So that's another video I'll have to be working on with the performance differences I notice with space open versus close because it does eat a good bit of resources. But anyways, guys, I'm pretty much going to leave it there. I just want to show some of the little differences here. There's not much to talk about, maybe Mirage there. But uh, if you haven't been running the beta version, definitely update to this official version of the VGA driver because it is much better than an older, older November 6th release. Lenovo had. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming and check out the video. As always, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.